In this video, we'll balance the equation for zinc sulfate plus ammonium phosphate. We'll use a bit of a trick to make this easier. So let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have one zinc, and then here's the trick. We have this SO4, it's called the sulfate ion. It's a polyatomic ion. We have it here, and same thing, it stays together in the reaction. So we have just one sulfate ion in the reactants. Also for the ammonium ion, we have it here and here. So here we have one times three, that'll give us three ammonium ions. One phosphate, again phosphate. So we have one phosphate in the reactants, and for the products we have three zincs, one sulfate, two of the ammonium ions, and then two of the phosphate ions. So you can see how quickly you can count up all the atoms. Let's balance it. If we put a three in front of the zinc sulfate, one times three, that would give us three, that balances the zincs, and then we have one times three, so we have three sulfates. Let's just put a three in front of the ammonium sulfate. We have one sulfate times three, so those are balanced. Then we have two times the one, so two ammonium ions times three. Two times three is six, six ammonium ions. If we put a two here, we have one times three, that's three times two, three times two, that balances the ammonium ions, and then one phosphate times two balances the phosphates. We're done. This equation is balanced. It's a lot faster if you do it this way. Time is important on exams. Either way, you get the same answer. Do note that everything here is aqueous except for the zinc phosphate. That's going to be a solid, so that'll be a precipitate fall to the bottom of our test tube. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for ZnSO4 plus NH43. PO4. Thanks for watching.